Alrighty. Yup. So we're out here in Santa Cruz and I rented one of the boats and we're about to head out there and uh, see if we can land some lingcods, rockfish, maybe halibuts, all of that good stuff. You know what you guys, being out here into the water, I'm getting a much better view on things and I would have to say I might believe that the earth is flat and I can see way 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 out there and it looks pretty flat so I might have to agree with that flat earth theory from land it's really hard to see from land I could understand how somebody would think that the earth is uh, is round I'm pretty confident that the earth is flat so I have the first line ready I'm just using a four ounce ball and some shrimp, half the shrimp as my bait. And I'm just gonna cast it straight down. This is my first cast. Let's see how it goes. All the way to the bottom. There it was. I'm gonna reel it up some and let it wait. Let it sit. The one thing that I am concerned about a little bit, but not too much because it's part of it, is uh, seasickness. But I should be all right, cause you know I'm a I'm a soldier. I'm a winner. You know what I mean? I'm a survivor. <coughs> My first tip for the day is get all your fishing line ready before you get on the boat, cause you definitely don't want to be doing this out in the water. I have a four ounce weight just to take it to the bottom and I have this nice swim bait right here. Just perfect for a lingcod. And again, I'm just gonna drop it straight down. Straight down to the bottom. Reel it up some so that it's not on the rocks. I got new sunglasses, UV protected and polarized. Keep my eyes from getting burned. I got this at uh, Dick's, Dick's Sporting Goods. Oh man, this helps so much. So I got this little rockfish, little black or little blue rockfish right here, pretty small. And so I'm gonna reel up this line right here and throw it on the, uh, throw it on this line. See if I can get, uh, use it as live bait. Take this guy off. Okay, got this little rockfish right here. So I got this live bait rig right here, slider rig. Hook it out the, through the nose. Boom, out the nose. And this little treble hook right here, just hook it at the bottom, just barely hook them. You don't wanna injure them. And throw it right back down there. Boom. Let it swim first, let it catch its breath. Let it shake a little bit, just to know it's still alive, still good. I am sweating right now because I'm feeling nauseous. There we go, he's getting better, he's getting better. Okay, let him go back down there. Let him go back down there. Let him go back down there. Nice and easy. All right, first live bait on the hook in the water oh what is this what is this okay okay baby okay okay i got something you guys i got something i got something you guys My line just went straight down. Tighten it up. Let's see what we got, baby. Let's see what we got. Holy shit! I got my first link cut. Oh my fuck. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. I landed my first lean cut. Oh my freaking goodness. I got my first lean cut, baby. Baby boy, you did it. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. I got my first lean cut. Oh my goodness, on the live bait. Oh my God, it worked. I got my first lean cut, oh my goodness. What the hell? That was such a little bite. That was such a little bite. It only fought at the very end. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My first lean cut ever. Let's measure this bad boy. Can't even measure it right now. Oh yeah, it's 22. It's it's exactly 22. Is it worth it? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm feeling better. First lean cod, baby. First lean cod. 22 inches exactly. That's right. Oh yeah, exactly 22. All right, as you can see, I'm no longer in the water. I'm on land again and it feels so good to be on land again. The waves were just too much for me. I was getting seasick and it just wasn't comfortable anymore for me. So I caught my lean cod, my first lean cod ever. Uh, when is your first lean cod ever? It's called a cherry lean. And I measured it and it was exactly 22 inches on the dot. But like I said, um, the waves were getting a little bit too much for me and it, it was just really uncomfortable. I was getting seasick and as you saw, I threw up a few times, but anyways, I'm here. Uh, I'm about to fillet the fish, cook it up, and have it for lunch. So I'm gonna. All right, you guys. So here goes the fish. I'm gonna cut it up and fillet it, and just cook one side of it and take the other half home. It's a pretty good sized fish. I won't be able to eat the whole thing, so I'll just eat half and make some uh, link cod sandwiches. Already. And here is my new fillet knife. Oh my god. And now I'm just going to cut straight along the side of the spine, keeping the knife flat along the side of the, the spine and just making little cuts. All the way through. Oh yeah, all the way through and out. Turn it on its side. And just flatten out the knife and just go. Just laying the knife flat along the spine. Boom! Nice fillet. I'm gonna throw this back into the cooler. And uh, take it home. Cut down, but not all the way through the skin. Just down, not through the skin. And then turn the knife and start to fillet it. Just, just pulling, pulling the skin off. Boom, right off like that. That's one fillet. And the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna lay the knife flat. Slight pull, slight move, and but mostly pulling the skin off. Boom, that's my other filet. Look at that. That's about three sandwiches. Fire, garlic salt. Boom, perfect. Olive oil, my favorite. I love olive oil. It's healthier than uh, vegetable oil and other oils. And uh, it has a good aroma and it tastes good. 
Oh yeah. That's good stuff. I've never had lean pods before. Lightly toasted on the outside, on both sides, soft on the middle. Let me go ahead and try the fish first and see how that tastes. Right here. Wow. 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 Right now I'm debating if this is the best fish I've ever had. Try another piece before I eat the bread. Mmm. Lightly seasoned. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. Lightly cooked and bread toasted. A little bit of tip. Little bit of chips. Wow, oh, perfect combo. Fish and chips. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. Mm. I guarantee you, once you try potato bread, you won't regret it. Oh yeah, that's good. Moist on the inside. Lightly toasted on the outside. That's good. That is good. Mm, mm, mm. Dessert. Snapples. What would you guys think again for watching? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a wonderful time out there even though it was a struggle. It was challenging. I still had fun. That's just part of fishing, and that's just how it goes. Another one off of my list. First, I had halibut in San Francisco. Now I get to check off lingcod in Santa Cruz. Next, stripers. Cheers.